Thanks, Drew. Those words are very important, social license, um, but we've got to be quite clear. There should never, ever be a social license to mine on prime agricultural land. Full stop. Never, ever a license to mine on prime agricultural land. No matter what they do, no matter what concessions they make, that will not happen. Nor will there be a license, and can you imagine, but there's a license from January 12 to mine for coal seam gas five kilometres from the Warragamba Dam. So, and the Somerset Dam in Queensland, and of course we're not far from here, Appen, there are applications for mining at Appen, there are already 250 wells at Camden, they're talking about, they were talking about mining at St Peter's, I mean, on the fringes of Sydney. There will never ever be a social licence to mine for coal seam gas or anything else on prime agricultural land or in heavily urbanised areas. Full stop. That's not negotiable for anybody. Now our next, now I've got to say this to be fair, now Tim, I welcome you here, but I've got to confess, I was very concerned about one or two comments you made. Tim Duddy is from the Karuna Coal Action Group that you made to the Upper House Inquiry. But we've got to get a few things clear here. I, if I'm not right, uh, if I, maybe I stand to be corrected, but I think you said that you didn't have any problems if drilling was done correctly. Now, I'm not sure what that means. And if that gives any encouragement to the Santosers to believe that the Liverpool Plains is open so long as they say something about doing it correctly, there will be no correct drilling on the Liverpool Plains. No kind of drilling is correct. No kind of drilling is correct at Sutton Forest. None. It's not arguable, it's not debatable. Look, there is, uh, when I coached, I always said there was a KISS method. The KISS method always got us there. Keep it simple, stupid. And if we can keep the message simple, there is no license to mine here. Full stop. It's not arguable. That's why we're here. There is no license to mine on the Liverpool Plains. Drew comes from Chinchilla and he tells you it's just like a pincushion. Well, we're not going to allow Chinchilla to be replicated at Gunnedah. Yes. Uh, Jenny Hogue. Jenny? Okay, sure. Jenny. Jenny. How old is she? Little one. Little time. What's that last? H.O. Jenny Hogue. She wants to come to the Yeah. How's Hansville Hogue? H.O. Hey, Joe, Jenny Ho. Now, where are you, Jenny? You got lost. Understandably, and you would come over where? Just over there. To, onto the bus. Onto the bus. Thank you. You're welcome. That's okay, Jenny. You wanted at the bus. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. We're a very democratic group here. You're welcome. It's only in Macquarie Street in Canberra that they don't know anything about democracy, and and George Street and George Street in in uh, in Brisbane. So, Jenny Ho. Over you go. Now, Tim, the other thing I've got to say is this, Tim. I think you said you're not worried about what happens above ground, only what happens underground. Now, we've all talked about aquifers here today, Tim. But I've got to tell you, all these people here are worried about both. They are twin terrors. And no, no encouragement can be given. Now, I don't know what agenda some people have got. But they're going to have to nail me before they practice those agendas. We are genuinely worried about what's happening above ground. Genuinely worried. And nothing can be allowed, not one syllable, to give encouragement to anyone to start fiddling with farmers on the Liverpool Plains. Or in Gloucester Stroud. Or at Sutton Forest. Or at Appen. Or at Camden.